Here we go. Let's try this again. Winter updates for 2024. It is day, today is two days before Christmas, um, and I really haven't had a chance to do anything uh, since our last race. Uh, there was a couple times I thought we were going to be able to race, weather uh, said otherwise, so the car has just been sitting and getting cranked up a little bit. Uh, today was the first day I've really done anything, and I started making some plans. So let me flip this camera around. I'm trying this on my cell phone now, opposed to using a flip camera. I feel like I use the other camera as an excuse to just not record. So let's see what, how we do this go around. First things first, last night I was on the Tim McCamus website and I saw that they had a blemished carbon fiber seat. And it's 200 bucks and it was narrow. And guess who's narrow? Nigel is. So um, I weighed this seat this morning. It was like 17 uh, pounds, five ounces roughly with the everything and the bolts. Uh, so I ordered their seat kit, which is four pounds, and uh, the frame kit for it. And um, I, I figured even after everything, I'll, I'll lose roughly 10, 11 pounds. And that's what we're going for this winter is to lose some weight. Next thing, you may remember from a couple seasons ago, um, we had some carbon window, uh, side windows one time. Well, first time out, they flew out because the guy makes them sucked. But anyways, they're still here. We're fixing them to where they got a little chipped up on that flew out, the one that did. And this time I'm putting them back in there and we're going to glue them in. So we should be all right. Um, and if we're not, I'll have the other ones in the trailer just in case. Um, but uh, that's another 10 pounds right there. And uh, I, I really just, my goal is hopefully that for every, tw every 25 pounds roughly, I get out from in front of the back tires that I can uh, uh, take 25 pounds out of the trunk, which at some point I'll have that off and I'll show you guys the ballast back there. And um, you, you really can't see it in the last video I did because I'm out, I posted some clips, but this is the LT Combo uh, 416 LAT based uh, block, which is what it is, LAT block, CID heads, hydraulic roller, all that good stuff still, BTR intake, it makes power. Jose, force induction is 98 millimeter, um, and you know, fuel tech, fuel injector clinic, uh, camera's torque converter now. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's different about the car from when we ran it back in 22. Uh, it's an awesome combo, makes a lot of power. The biggest thing has been overcoming the weight and figuring the chassis out. You know, we've been five mile an hour faster with this combo um, than the, the 5.3 at uh, 250 pounds heavier. So this shows the power it's making. So that's, that's why I'm so, like, I want to see this thing I'll do at the lighter weight. Uh, so that's why I'm working at it. Um, but this is just what we got here. And uh, it's awesome. So ever since we rebuilt the car, we you know we had an OEM throttle cable at first, then we did a Morse cable, um, which is basically you know similar cable to use like in parachutes and sometimes transmissions, uh, shifter linkages. I have not been a huge fan of it. I felt like it was delayed on the, on the retraction, uh, even with the spring and everything. And it made it really hard to pedal the car. So, I finally decided to buy the McCamus throttle linkage kit, uh, which just gives you this stuff right here. I mean, yeah, you can make it yourself, but um, when I'm thinking about it at Sunday night, 10 o'clock at night, it's really easy just to order it. And after shipping, it's like $72. Uh, if, I, if I think of the time I'll have to spend to find everything, it's worth it just to buy it. But you can see here, did that. Works good. This little guy just keeps it from uh, flopping around uh, too much. That's the only thing, because obviously these right here on the little balls, and uh, they can pivot uh, inside. Got a light. I made this adapter here for the pedal, so um, I had to I had to basically offset it and uh, to get out to where it needs to be, so it wouldn't bind up and enlarge the hole a little bit. But I think I want to like that. The linkage might make the car a little more touchy to drive, but it doesn't matter. This is not a street car at all. Uh, so it doesn't affect anything I do really. Um, as long as, my, my big thing is to, to be able to pedal it. I know next year we're gonna do some more slick tire racing uh, after we do some radial stuff early on. And uh, I, you know, I don't wanna pedal it, I know it's rough on stuff, but I'd like to be able to, to do that. And, and maybe I won't like it. And if I don't, everything is set up that I can easily put back the throttle cable as well. This gives you guys uh, an idea of what my winter list looks like. Um, I broke the front, old front, front shock sensor, so I need to mount the new one. 
and it's a little bit different, so I need to do the mounting tab and stuff. I'd like to add a front, front wheel speed sensor, and uh, sorry guys, this coffee is hitting right now, so I'm a, I'm a little jittery it seems, but um, I'd like to add a front wheel speed sensor. Uh, what I want to use that for is active traction control. That way I can tell if we're so far down the track, if we get too much of a slip percentage uh, variance from front to rear, that, I, uh, that it will pull timing to keep things under control. Uh, of course, check everything else out, all the nuts and bolts. Uh, and honestly, if I see something that have a lot of overhang, if I can get to them, I'll probably cut them off. Uh, going to a 370 rear gear per Byron and Cameron's suggestion. Right now it's a 389. Uh, he thinks we'll be able to get after it sooner. Uh, loosen the convert, convert up a little bit on the hit and uh, uh, you know, get the power in sooner. And he said the way the their converters work, um, they, will, uh, they get to 100% efficiency a lot sooner the sooner the power is in there hopefully i said that right i just want to inspect the transmission make sure that those clutches are looking good that we burned up last time um engine i want to inspect it just because like a look at things um the uh uh the old drain back kind of sucks in my opinion so i'm gonna see if i can do some stuff to make that better um and of course cut weight out which is what i've already talked about uh, possibly do redo the feed lines out of hard line, but I don't know if I will or not. That's just an idea I had to the night. We gotta fix the carbon windows, just where they got the one, the one that got chipped up. The valve covers leak nonstop around the breather, makes it so mad. Um, so I have a good idea for how I wanna fix that though. But very, very frustrating, because no matter what I do, they suck and they leak um, around that area uh, after like hardly any run time. And that's what I did today. And the reason I added it to the list was because I like the satisfaction of checking things off. What's up guys, figured out in the uh, last few clips I took on my phone that holding the phone that uh, the direction I was holding it is not good. So I'll try to do this right here as I work on my uh, uh, ever so suffering YouTube skills, suffering. I'm just not good at this. Anyways, um, wow, God, this is not convenient. Let me flip this. Boom. All right, so, um, Today is Christmas Day, wife's working. You know, I did what I had to do this morning. Uh, so I decided to come in for a few hours to start cleaning up and get ready for the, you know, what we do this week, which is clean up, which shouldn't be terrible. Uh, and honestly, I've been cleaning up for the past month. So the, uh, the dumpster, it's already full. So I won't be able to fill it up again until like Wednesday or Thursday. Um, but that aside, I happen to have the trunk off today just looking at stuff. So I would show you some of the stuff I talked about in the last video as far as uh, what I did to add some weight um, to help with the ballast of the iron block this past season. So as you can see here, um, one thing I did, move the fire bottles to the back. Um, I think they were roughly 18 pounds. And um, when I did that, because I already had the lines ran to one spot, I made this little, uh, I bought some bulkhead fittings. And then I made this little guy right here and just welded it onto the chassis and just connected right there. So if I need to move them back at some point, I can move them back as well. And that's, you know, the hose is rather, you know, malleable because this is aluminum, it bends easy. Um, the bottles here, they mount off this little bracket I made and they're all double nutted so they can't fall off. Um, I do have some more of the uh, oval nuts now and I may do that cause, you know, just save a little bit of weight. I know it sounds ridiculous, but you know, ounces turn into pounds. At the same time, I also, at the moment, do want the weight in the rear, so we'll probably wait on that, I'm sure. This is my ballast bar right here. Um, that's 125 pounds. We can fit 150. You see the little spacers on there. Uh, and uh, th that was a substantial move right there. You know, every 25 pounds this far back in the chassis, which is basically as far back as I can go, was worth uh, roughly eight tenths of a percent. So. I hated to add the weight, but if it makes the car work better, it's worth it, be more consistent. Um, and, uh, you know, this basically has two uh, of these 12 millimeter bolts right here. Um, and the goal was to be able to just take one loose and swing it up, but the weight ends up hitting on the trunk, so I couldn't do that. Um, but uh, that's what we got for the ballast there. Um, and like I said, it works really good, especially being in the chassis and that high up made a substantial difference. What is up guys? So time to make a little bit of progress on this thing. Um, we are, uh, you know, we're closed this week. 
So I, we got the shop cleaned up pretty good. I've got some stuff I got to do the next two days, but I got a few hours today, and I don't want to. I don't want to start a project. Uh, that uh, I don't want to start a different project, uh, and try to keep uh, while I'm thinking about something else, basically. So let me go ahead and, and get this thing torn apart. So I'm gonna get the injectors out, get them soaking in WD-40. Uh, I'm gonna get this engine out. I just wanna poke around and go over things. Um, I think we're gonna try some different stuff with the push rods, like some restricted push rods. Cause in my opinion, the drain back kind of sucks on this thing. So see if we can help that out. Um, and then, uh, you know, I, like I mentioned before, I need to change the rear gear, get the transmission out, but just gotta do one thing at a time. So if I can save, if I can get something knocked out and save a few hours, you know, it's, it's good progress. Update guys, Jake and I have been working away at this. Uh, just the two front uh, motor plate bolts. And um, then we can swing this thing out. I'm getting ready to connect the cherry picker to it now. All right guys, a few minutes later, here we are. Uh, I can't see a whole lot, obviously it looks like an engine hanging. I always feel worse about uh, the iron blocks. Like, uh, I feel like it's just straining things way too hard. But anyways, I'm gonna get the flywheel off and get this thing onto the stand. What is up guys? I have been working on this thing some today. Um, I cut the fa uh, not factory, but the original seat tabs out. Um, harness uh, tabs are still in place. We'll see if we use those spots or not. I highly doubt it, but for now I just left those. But I cut the back and support out and the side ones. It's a little bit extra weight. Uh, I got this over here. So this is what this seat weighs with all of the framing. Won't we use all of that? But I would say we're in for a good, you know, probably probably nine pound loss is all said and done, maybe 10. But uh, to me, that makes it worthwhile when you're, uh, uh, you know, trying to grab a hair here. So uh, I'm about to just kind of get an idea how the frame is going to go. And then I'll be able to plan a little bit where the seat it, itself is going to uh, be in the car. As you guys can see, I've already cut part of the seat off, um, and that's when I'm going to show you the second part. The the lines way up here are from when I first put the seat in the car, and then I realized I can move it a little more. So I set a piece of wood to kind of uh, give myself an idea where I wanted to sit at. And this seat's pretty durable, thankfully, uh, and it's not sitting like on any uh, points that'll crack it. Uh, so I was able to sit in there and uh, you kind of trace out where I wanted to be at. And then I took some measurements. It'll be a little different from side to side because the cage itself is different, obviously, as you, you know, you got this side right here. And then the second, the other side, we're, going, we're kind of going more off of uh, the, uh, this bar right here. Uh, can't see my hand, there we go, this bar right here. Um, and so basically I'm cutting the seat first to get the idea where I want it. And then I will uh, get the frame built. So uh, just kind of got to do it in that order. Uh, and then, uh, once I do that, then I'll be able to get final placement. I'll definitely end up having to move these uh, tabs right here to the seat belts, which is fine. Like I'm gonna have a lot more room now. Before my knees were kind of high because of the shape of the Kirky seat and everything. Uh, so now I'm able to uh, to move uh, back a little more and lower my lower my center of gravity some on the car, and uh, and that'll get me some gives me a lot more knee clearance before I had maybe an injured two of clearance tops and now I've probably got you know double if not triple that uh but yeah so that's where I'm at so far I'm gonna finish cutting this seat and uh, I'll see how much more I get done this evening check it out guys um obviously I gotta build the frame but that's the rough way it's gonna be you know rough idea I got some cleaning up to do probably on the edges and uh and I may tweak it some as I uh as I do it but uh that's what I want to start with. I'm totally digging it. And uh, once again, like I said, I do have to, um, you know, I gotta get a headrest for back there, but uh, that's no big deal. And I, I do like the fact that I have so much more leg room now. So it's moving me way further back in the car, which also I like the idea for weight distribution as well. Cause once again, the more weight uh, that we can get back there without having to add weight, the better. So it all helps in, uh, you know, something like this. But that is where we're at. So I think I'm about to head home and I may come back later or I may not. So we'll see. Quick video guys. 
Um, the frame is partially started. I gotta shorten some stuff to some edges and just the angles to get it to where I want to match the seat. But you know, there's that part. This right here will come up and we'll weld the back of the cage here once it's cut to length. And then there'll be some extra supports and stuff there. But that's where we're currently at. Um, I'll, maybe I'll get some time to work on the frame more tomorrow. Tomorrow is New Year's. But I just, uh, even though we've been closed this week, it's been the end of the week during the day working on customer stuff. And um, so I got some stuff to work on. Then maybe I'll get a few hours to work more on the seat frame. And then once I get that done, I'll probably get the transmission and the rear end out. I just wanted to, to uh, get that done just because I wanted to. I don't know, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about the seat being where it's at and uh, adjusting where I want to sit at and all that stuff. But anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.